it's been approximately a week, 13 or 14 days. And now to win the experiment with the ethylene or acyl ethanol thing here. And there's still a smell for the calcium carbide. So I'll be weighing these and comparing it to the starting weights. Visually, there's a small amount of weeping black rot or just black uh, I'm not sure what to describe this as, but it looks similar to weeping black rot or just a a wounding with some black. It's fairly firm to the touch. It's not exactly different from the starting. And let's start with the weight. So for the ethylene portion it's at 250 grams I didn't write down the starting weights so I'll check the video let's see the control the control is at 287 grams I believe it started at 300 305 so I know there's a loss in water weight here it's a little bit softer than the ethylene, so there's more water loss likely. There is not any black rot. There are a few blemishes here on the control. And the final one, which is the foliar spray that I applied at 20x the normal concentration this one does have more black blemishes it even has a callus here and as far as the firmness it's as firm as the ethylene and the control seems to be the one with the most water loss And the weight is 240 grams. So I'll have to compare these to the starting weights. And the major difference is are there, there does seem to be some growth here, judging by the color. It's a lighter green shade. So maybe the ethylene had some growth which the ethylene and the GA3 generally has a correlation where when the ethylene increases a little bit the GA3 uh, increases as well in some cases not always the temperature has been fairly cool this past two weeks with only two or three days being a bit warmer and as far as humidity it's not fairly high but yeah visually two weeks isn't a huge difference but there is more uh, blemishes or black rot on the foliar spray now if that correlates with something else I'm not entirely sure we'll see after the extraction but there is uh, a bit more blemishes from the foliar spray treatment and from here I'll just keep them separate I'll fillet them into strips and then microwave dry them for a faster uh, drying process and then I'll dry I'll measure out the dry weights
to try to control all the variables and prevent like um, excess solvent or excess lye or something. I'm going to leave all three of these that have the dry material and the liquid that was decanted off to dry the dry the plant material. I'll be adding the same solution of near saturation near saturated sodium hydroxide. I'll be adding 30 milliliters to each. 30, 33, and I'll leave these sitting in the lye solution for, let's say a week, so that it completely breaks down and everything is uh, free base. And then from there, I'll proceed to do a uh, saline pulse from the top. So that way I'll control the, uh, the extraction so that it's fairly uniform and there will be less variables for possible like inconsistency with the results. Here's the experiment to see on to see if increasing the biosynthesis of mescaline is possible. This is the control. The ethylene and the product that I'm working on. The solution here is the liquid that comes off from decanting when I was drying in the microwave. I added two tablespoons of sodium chloride salt and they are each uniform so it's two tablespoons each and it was the same rate of uh, concentration of sodium hydroxide as well. After about a day or two soaking in the uh, lye solution, the ethylene had the most bubbling still. I'm not sure if it's still the acids neutralizing or not. Followed by the, the product and the control had no bubbling. And then today I decided to add 100 milliliters of the solvents. I used xaline. I just cover it. Or yeah, I just added the 100 milliliters and I swirl it a bit. I'll leave this for a few days pulling. I'll then repeat this maybe one or two more times with 100 milliliters each pull. And from there, I'll do the extraction salting with hydrochloric acid. I'll be salting excessively low to pull the non-mescaline alkaloids as well. And then I'll separate them using isopropanol washing. And then I'll see if there's any increase using ethylene, which is the main theory I shared. And with the product that I'm working on, which was the main purpose of developing it, but I also see that there's an increase in darker green flesh and a few other benefits as well. So this will take a while. I'll be pretty busy this week, so this is the best way to set it up.